Well, as we continue our soccer block here, we talk to one of the lone seniors on the men's soccer team, the senior from Virginia Beach, Virginia, er Aaron O'Neill. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us here on BU thanks. All Access. Welcome, Aaron. Thank you. Aaron, uh, quite a, uh, a test for you this year as one of the few seniors on this team. I mean, you've been showing uh, little extra clips of the Jonas Brothers to all the <laughs> young kids on this team. I mean, it's a real youthful bunch. You're really kind of a, a, a elder statesman in many ways with this team and trying to bring that young freshman class around. Yeah, it's they're they're young, but they're good players. They're all they've uh, had experience playing, so it's good playing with younger guys too. Uh, I mean, we all work together. We're, we're all a team, and everyone's expected to do what they're expected to do. So we all know what we're supposed to do when we get out on the field and train be professional about it and stuff. I really thought you were going to ask, you know, what n what now number he started with as a freshman and what we're up to now in those now CDs. That's where I thought you were <laughs> going with that question. Aaron, obviously <laughs> talking about this freshman, I mean, uh, obviously that's the main story right now is that there are so many new faces, obviously a lot of young talent, but what's impressed you the most about these nine freshmen? Um, they're pretty good players. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they're making you work all of a sudden, yeah, huh? I mean, they're good. They train hard. Everyone's Everyone's playing together well right now, so and really well defensively. Um, Kelvin, the kid from Zimbabwe, has done real well. Stepped in right away in the back. Um, Vicente from Venezuela is playing on the left. Derek McCaffrey's in the midfield. They're all they're doing real well so far. Um, all the other guys are great too, helping and like working hard in training. Everyone's doing well, so. Well, talking about, you know, what happened last year, it was the second best scoring team in the conference last year, and obviously the midfielding core is pretty much back. Uh, what kind of expectations do you guys have just from even the returning players as well? Um, expect to keep going with what we, started <laughs> what we ended with last year, hopefully. Hopefully we keep scoring and uh, just tighten up. Defensively, we looked really good this preseason, yeah. so that's, that's a plus. And then if we can keep – scoring and getting goals and creating chances will be good. Well, I don't bring mean to bring up bad memories, but let's talk about the way last year ended. Season it was end, yeah. yeah, it was the opening round of the Americas tournament to Hartford. Uh, how much is that on your mind and the mind of the returning players? And what do you have to do to get that motivation into the freshmen as well to kind of overcome that? Yeah, we just we try to move past it. We yeah. It's uh something that's in the past we move on, learn from it, but move on get rid of it we go on and play the way we need to play well you have that opportunity to kind of get over things quickly with the way this schedule is right now right. last year you knocked off then number one st john's this year you get to play st john's again yeah. then you get to play boston college who's ranked number 12 uh, these have become good rivalries but not to mention now with numbers to the left of their names these have become huge games as well yeah well i i personally have never beaten so <laughs> it's about time. Uh, yeah, we I want to hear what he says so. right now. Yeah, you're <laughs> you <laughs> well, kept it a little I'm quiet. Yeah, but we we need to we need to get wins and we need to play well. So with the team we got, we should be able to get some wins in early and against some good teams. You mentioned how in your training, defensive minded at this point, something you're pleased with, inexperience and goal. That position was up for grabs and competitive really coming into the season. And and what about that effect at this point? Your confidence in that position. Yeah, bo both the goalkeepers we have now, Trevor and Brandon, are both are both real good goalkeepers. Um, I personally don't know who's going to play and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> They're both doing well. Um, Brandon's looked really good. I He worked hard. He was here all summer working out with us, and he's looking really good. So we'll see what happens with that. They're both. I trust both of them in the goal, though. I mentioned this to coach as well, but you guys were still the preseason favorites to win America East. Were you surprised at all by that when that came out? Yeah, I was a little <laughs> bit surprised. <laughs> but we always, <laughs> we are always picked to win. We we're always one of the top teams. We should win the conference every year. It's just how we go out and how we play against the conference teams. If we can get up and play against them and not try and play down to their level, hopefully. Well, you just brought up a really interesting point, which is obviously something now as one of the lone seniors on this team, uh, the, the idea of playing up and down to competition. I think last year, Coach even said that that was part of the inconsistency is you, you played down to competition at times. Is there anything you guys can do to, uh, to avoid that this year? Um, just getting mentally prepared for every game, getting yeah. up for every game. Trying, it starts in the locker room and starts with that morning when you get up, you got to get ready to play. <laughs> it's game day. 
Well, going a little bit away from soccer for a second, one of your teammates, Derek McCaffrey, who is the Worcester Telegram Player of the Year coming in, he's also a big-time basketball player, 1,000-point scorer in high school. And I know you played the game as well in yeah. high school. Uh, has Coach made up a rule that says no pickup games during the soccer season? Or are you guys you still sign a waiver or anything? <laughs> stay off the court, stay on the pitch? He told us, he told us no basketball in preseason, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get a few games in at some point this year. So we'll just make sure that we'll edit that part out so Coach didn't hear that. That's we, all. <laughs> we won't publicize who the one-on-one -on -one champion of the soccer team okay, is. Okay. Trust us on that one, Aaron. It'll be me, though. <laughs> He's calling it already. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us. Thank good luck guys. tomorrow night. Good Thank luck. you. Off to a good start. Right. That's Aaron O'Neill, a senior on the men's soccer team. The Terriers will host UMass on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on Nickerson Field to get their season underway.